Hi, this is Phil Shapiro in Tacoma Park, Maryland. I'm holding over here in my hands my $20 eBay laptop. This is a laptop I bought. It's a Dell laptop Latitude C640. It's 2 gigahertz with 1 gigabyte of memory. Wait, wait, wait. I didn't pay $20. I paid $30. There was $10 for shipping. Anyway, I love this laptop. I've installed Linux Mint 16 XFCE, which is a very lightweight Linux, means that it runs really well in 512 megabytes of memory. So with a gigabyte of memory, this laptop is totally happy. And I can use it surfing wirelessly. In the back, I put in a USB Wi-Fi adapter. And I've hooked up this laptop to a nice 20 inch monitor with 1650 by 10, um, 1650 by 1050 resolution, I think it is. Um, so this is a nice big monitor, and this little laptop can drive this big monitor. So let's turn it on and see how well it surfs the web. I'm booting it up right now. You get to see this live. Hey, I wonder, I wonder if I could buy like a $20 trinket on the Apple website. Maybe I could buy a little felt bag that you could put your iPod into. Like a little felt bag, you know? 20 bucks on the Apple website. Or you could buy this, um, this Dell laptop that runs Chrome 33, Chrome 34, surfs the web wireless really nice. Of course, you could always try and install Chrome 33 on a little felt bag that you can put your, lap, your little iPod into. You know, you might, you could try that, right? Okay, we, we're booting up over here. Here comes a Linux Mint 16. I like Linux Mint because it, um, it installs um, the extra things that you could let you watch Flash and Java on the web. So for me, that's a, a big deal because uh, some, some websites I like to do that. Linux tends to be very safe in terms of viruses and malware. So, oh look, there's a, there's a cursor up on the screen. I'm going to zoom in so you get to see the screen a little better. Cool. Wow. There it is. Here comes Linux Mint. Now there's a lot, a lot of laptops being sold and given away. The old Windows XP laptops. Uh, Windows XP expired in April 2014, so a lot of people want to give away Windows XP laptops or they want to sell them very inexpensively. But these laptops can have a second life if you install Linux on them. Um, now some of those laptops even might have 250 megabytes of memory, which is quite low. But in that case, I would install something called Puppy Linux or they have some very, very lightweight Linux that you can still use the laptop even if it doesn't have, if it even if it has 250 meg 256 megabytes of memory. So we must never say this technology is obsolete because there's certainly some families or individuals in our community who don't have a computer at home or the computer at home they have is broken and they don't have the money to fix it and they might be unemployed. So a laptop like this could be a really nice solution for their needs. Here we are. Let me start up. Um, I see my, uh, here's Google Chrome right here on the desktop. This is so pretty. I'm going to zoom in so you get to see it. Look at that. And I'll show you just how fast it surfs. This thing is surfing pretty quickly. It's a 2 gigahertz processor. And uh, I'm going to go to the CNN website. I love the keyboard on this latitude. Far better than those chiclet keyboards. Chiclet, that's chewing gum. I didn't know why they put chewing gum on the keyboard. You're not supposed to put chewing gum on the keyboard. Okay, here's CNN. Now uh, I'm going to go back and, and change the camcorder angle so we can zoom in a bit when I'm doing this surfing. Here we go. Now let's take a look at how fast this laptop surfs. So here I am on CNN. Let me go over here to uh, entertainment, and the, or let me go right to tech. Maybe they have a news story about a $20 laptop. Ha! Huh. Here it comes. Do you see how fast it surfs? It's pretty sweet. 
Now this also has a very excellent word processor, LibreOffice 4.2 I think it is, that comes with Linux Mint. And I installed um, Inkscape, which is a vector graphics drawing program that's very similar to Adobe Illustrator. And I put on Tux Paint, which is a drawing program for kids. And I installed Clavaro, which is um, a very nice free touch typing tutor. So look at this, sweet little laptop, 20 bucks. I bought this monitor for $25 uh, on eBay. Uh, people are giving away these 20 inch monitors or they selling them on eBay. Um, of course, if you live in a metropolitan area, there's a lot more people selling stuff. So when I bought this just this past weekend, uh, I didn't have to pay for shipping because I just drove over to the person and picked it up directly from them. So I saved the shipping cost. But this is the kind of thing that I would love to see nonprofit organizations or public libraries solicit free donations of 20 inch monitors and then we can give these out to people who don't have a computer at home or who, um, who are unemployed or who just need it for whatever reason. Some people need an extra computer in their home. They already have one and this would make a very nice extra one if they had this monitor and if they were able to buy a laptop that can drive this monitor then they'd have a really nice solution at home for um, for doing computer stuff including computer learning and learning computer programming and learning computer graphics so let's take a look at Inkscape uh, since this computer has so much memory I'm gonna start Inkscape uh, let's see let's see let's see come over here to graphics and here comes Inkscape. I love Inkscape. Inkscape works on all computers, Macintosh, Windows, and Linux. There were some issues running Inkscape under Mavericks, but the new version of Inkscape coming out, uh, this, is, this is in May of 2014. There's one coming out, I think, in June, and uh, it's gonna run really nicely on uh, Macs. It will run without the extra software called X11. It will run natively. So I'm expecting great things from Inkscape coming up soon. But it does run under Windows and it works under Linux. Oh, look at this. Here it is. I'm making it full screen. Sweet. And now um, I'm going to take away the page here. I come under File and Document Properties and switch off show page border good so now i'm going to go get some text and i'm going to write over here 20 dollar laptop um 20 dollar laptop now it's a small font right you can't see it from way back there but the nice thing about inkscape is it's vector graphics so that means i can expand it without any loss of pixelation and you're going to end up seeing something really big and pretty. Look at that. $20 laptop. Whoa. Look at that. Isn't that sweet? And then I'm going to change the color. Let's go to blue. Let's go to green. Let's go to uh, pink, purple, whatever. Look at that. Isn't that sweet? So you can do really nice vector graphics on here. And there's free trainings for uh, Inkscape vector graphics uh, on the web. You should search, like Google, search Inkscape screencasts. And um, you will see some very, very well done, high quality, free trainings for Inkscape. So that's the kind of thing we need to get our youth into, right? Because you could actually earn your entire livelihood using Inkscape with a graphic design business, making logos and signs and different graphics for print, for video, for, um, for animations, or for websites, or whatever. So this is Phil Shapiro with my $20 laptop. I hope you learned something useful. Oh, one little tip. I found out today that I bought a little USB Wi-Fi adapter with 802.11n on it. And I got it on eBay for $5. But that laptop, that little USB Wi-Fi adapter won't work well with this old laptop. This is a 2002 laptop. So I use on the back of this a little USB Wi-Fi adapter with 802.11g or 802.11b. And you can also find those on eBay. Uh, it might cost you um, $10 or $15 maybe. 
And um, um, what else to say? Um, that's about it. Hope you learned something new. Bye.